Hi, it's JP. Uh, I wanted to do a, uh, a Q&A video. It's been some questions about, you know, what made me decide the camper was too small and, uh, you know, why did I leave and, and uh, how long I'd been out in it before I realized that it was too small. <laughs> well, it took me about two hours to figure out it was too No, I'm only kidding. But, uh, you know, don't, I hope y'all don't get me wrong. I, you know, uh, truck campers are, are a good thing. The one I have is probably better for, you know, just a short trip, like up to the river to go fishing for a day or two. But to live in it, no, it's, uh, it's too small for me. You know, the van dwellers are living in something that's even smaller than that, I guess. It's just a personal choice uh, for them. They can get used to it, I guess. I can't. Uh, you know, some of the reasons were uh, having to climb up in, into the bunk. You know, I'm not saying I'm old, but uh, at my age, it, it was a little tough having to climb up in there every night and, uh, you know, having to uh, climb back out of it in the middle of the night. Um, you know, to go to the restroom or something, and then have to climb back up in there again. So, uh, you know, the table, I don't know if it was a stock table or not. It kind of went with the rest of the woodwork in it, but uh, it just seemed like it was too big. You couldn't walk between the table and the, uh, and the counter. You had to walk sideways. And uh, after a while, that got a little bit irritating because you know you're always knocking something over you have to walk sideways because it's too small you end up well like with me my belly hangs over just a little bit so you know and I had to watch what I, where I was walking or I'd pull something off the table and uh, you know <laughs> it just it wasn't just one particular thing um, the question was asked about you know, maybe traveling with pets had something to do with it. Well, uh, you know, there, for me, there would just be no way I could have a big dog in there. I mean, there's just barely enough room for me. And the cat, uh, Lily, you know, she's pretty small, so she, uh, she stays out of my way when I get up and, and walk. Or, uh, you know, she's been stepped on a couple of times, and, and she learned quickly that uh, when I get up and walk, to move. Don't just lay there in the middle of the floor. So, uh, I mean, I didn't hurt her. I'm always careful, of course. But, you know, I stepped on her tail. Everybody stepped on a cat's tail once in a while. And, uh, uh, you know, like I said, it was, just, it was just too small. You turn the stove on and immediately everything is hot. Everything heats up quickly. Uh, the newer ones are probably designed better uh, to be using the stove. They're uh, exhausted better. Um, you know, I mean, what else can I say about it? That's, uh, for me, it was, it was just too small. Other people, it might have been just perfect. I don't know. Having to, uh, if I wanted to move, I have to, uh, uh, you know, climb out the back and lock everything up, walk around to get in the truck to move. An emergency situation, I don't know, y you know. <laughs> Excuse me, you got a bear in the camp, nobody wants to get out of the camper to go get in the truck and move. So, uh, I don't know, that's just kind of the way it is. It, mainly it was just, you know, uh, traveling with pets wasn't the problem. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, I'm used to the motorhome, more or less. At least, you know, in this I can get up and I can walk for, from, from the kitchen to the bedroom and, and just lay down. I don't have to climb up on anything. I don't have to have a ladder to climb up on anything. And uh, uh, the restroom I can actually get in, take a shower, turn around, uh, that sort of stuff. The, the truck camper, uh, the bathroom was pretty small. I mean, you, you couldn't close the door, your, your feet and knees hung out on the outside. 
you know, I'd have to cut the bottom of the door off to, to close the door, which, you know, by myself, it's not a problem. But, uh, you know, and only 10 gallons of water, I'm used to having 50, not that I would use a whole lot of water. I conserve, you know, as, as much as I possibly can, but let's face it, 10 gallons of water is not going to last very long if you, you know, you wash dishes and, and, uh, and you know, you wash yourself up and, and that sort of thing. Uh, that's not going to last very long. A holding tank was very small. I, you know, I think it was like 10 gallons. So, you know, before the, uh, uh, the uh, potable water is gone and drained into your holding tank, then, you know, your tank's full. And now you got to go find some place. It just, it just wasn't for me, put it that way. Uh, you know, the motorhome's got a 50-gallon holding tank on it. And, and uh, actually, no, I, well, the two of them, they're split. The two of them is, is uh, 65 gallons. So, you know, there's a big difference between 10 gallons and 65 gallons. You know, I could empty the, uh, the, the water storage tank and, and the tank still wouldn't be full. So I guess I think you all catch what I'm trying to say. And like I said, to repeat myself, I'm not downgrading. I'm not bad mouthing truck campers. Uh, the one I have is too small. It's a cab over, but just barely. And, and that's just I guess that's about it. That's all I wanted, wanted to say. Uh, people swear by camper, uh, truck campers and other people can't stand them. I'm just one of those ones that just can't stand it. So, <laughs> okay, there's my rant for the month. Thank you for listening. Talk to you later. Bye.